When we create an image view in Swift UI, it will automatically size itself according to the dimensions of its contents. So, if the picture is 1000 wide by 500 high, the image view will also be 1000 wide by 500 high. This is sometimes what you want, but mostly you'll want to show the image at a lower size, and I want to show you how that can be done, but also how you can make an image fit the width of the user's screen using a new view type called Geometry Reader. First, add some sort of image to your project. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's wider than the screen. I called mine Example, but obviously you should replace your image name in the code we cover. Now let's draw that image on the screen. VStack, Image, Example. Even in the Xcode preview, you can see that's way too big for the available space. Images have the same frame modifier as other views, so you might try to scale it down like this. Dot frame, width 300, height 300. However, that won't work. Your image will still appear to be its full size. If you want to know why, take a close look at the preview window. You'll see your image is full size, but there's now a blue box that's 300 by 300, sat in the middle. The image use frame has been set correctly but the content of the image is still shown at its original size. Try changing the image to this, dot clipped. Now you'll see things more clearly. Our image view is indeed 300 by 300, but that's not really what we wanted. If you want the image contents to be resized too, we have to use a resizable modifier like this, dot resizable. That's better, but only just. Yes, the image is now being resized correctly, but it's looking squashed. My image was not square, so it looks distorted now it's being resized into a square shape. To fix this, we have to ask the image to resize itself proportionally, which can be done using the aspect ratio modifier. This lets us provide an exact aspect ratio and how it should be applied. But if we skip the aspect ratio itself, SwiftUI will automatically use the original aspect ratio. When it comes to the how should it be applied part, SwiftUI calls this the content mode and gives us two options. Dot fit means the entire image will fit inside the container, even if that means leaving some parts of the view empty. And dot fill means the view will have no empty parts, even if that means some of our image lies outside the container. Try them both to see the difference for yourself. Here is dot fit mode applied. And here is dot fill mode applied. All this works great if we want fixed sized images, but very often you want images that automatically scale up to fill the screen in one or both dimensions. That is, rather than hard coding a size of 300, what you really want to say is, make this image fill the width of the screen. SwiftUI gives us a type just for this, called Geometry Reader, and it's remarkably powerful. Yes, I know lots of SwiftUI is powerful, but honestly, what you can do with Geometry Reader will blow you away. We'll go into much more detail on Geometry Reader in Project 15, but for now we're going to use it for just one job. To make sure our image fills the full width of its container view. Geometry Reader is a view just like the others we've used, except when we create it, we'll be handed a Geometry Proxy object to use. This lets us query the environment. How big is the container? What position is our view? Are there any safe area insets? And so on. We can use this Geometry Proxy to set the width of our image, like this. Geometry Reader, Geo in, then push the image and its modifiers in, add a closing brace there, and for the width, I'll say geo.size.width. And now the image will fill the width of our screen regardless of what device we use. For our final trick, let's remove the height from the image, like this. We've given SwiftUI enough information that it can automatically figure out the height. It knows the original width, it knows our target width, and it knows our content mode. So it understands how the target height of the image will be proportional to the target width. 